Boom de clap, boom de clap, de clap, boom de clap, boom de clap, de clap. All right. <laughs> All right, that was cool. That was our intro. <laughs> <laughs> Until we have a song. It'll just be you right. uh, clapping and singing whatever song is. Singing only Miley Cyrus songs. Which we Hannah don't have Montana. the rights to. But like, isn't there a rule where you can only, like you could it sing was a parody. Like a few seconds and then we're like, right. go, right? Yeah. Cool, great. I was making fun of it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Media Jerk Off, the show where media lovers come together to talk about the media they recently consumed and have fun conversations related to such. I am one of your hosts, Edward Zorich, and I am joined by the best co-host of all time, <laughs> Allison. Allison That's me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Clap for the woman. Woo! Yeah. She's um, doing great. Got out of bed this fantastic. morning. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity. <laughs> great. Multiple cheers. genders. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I spilled that all over me. <laughs> For those of you listening and not watching, I have Oh, that's a... right. I forget that's a thing. You have to, like, reference to the people who may not be tuning in and yeah. may just be listeners. Yeah, we are Hi, drinking... Uh, hello! Uh, we are drinking alcohol. I'm drinking water. And I'm drinking... <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> believe what you want. Um, right. And I just spilled beer all over myself. It's fine. It's great. Wait. We're in a cheap apartment. We're trying to make it in L.A. We have no one to impress, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stares into the abyss. <laughs> Hates myself. Um, oh. Allison. Yes. How does it feel to finally say that we're finally filming this right now? Oh my God. Listen, um, <laughs> I honestly didn't think that we were going to make our January podcast because our goal yeah. was uh, to film in January. Start. At least start. At least, I don't even know what that means to at yeah. least start, but we got a microphone last week. We did it. And... It was literally the one thing holding us back. Yeah. yeah. And we're plugging it in to good old garage bands. And we, we have our alcohol, we have our pops, um, because <laughs> of media. Media. Um, yeah. I'm excited. You excited? I'm really excited. Let me tell you guys. I've been wanting to make this podcast. We, I was thinking about this today, like leading up into this. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about making this thing since like before you moved to Los Angeles. Yeah. And that was like almost a year ago. Almost right? a year ago. Or about a year ago, I would say. Yeah. Okay, so when. And mm -hmm. then it was one of those things where it was like, it'd be really funny if. And then, um, yeah. And then we did. And, then, and we're doing it finally. There's always like the fear of like. Will we ever actually do it? Was it just a fun idea? But like, we're doing no, it. No, we're fucking doing it's it. It's happening. Will this see the light? None of you may never see ever see this. Oh, well, I'm allowed to swear in this, I'm right? Gonna, I mean, it's your choice. Yeah, it's our podcast. We can do whatever the <laughs> fuck we want. Media Sorry. jerk off, bitch. <laughs> um, so before we go into what we want to talk about, right. I figured it was probably a good idea to kind of explain what our goal is or like what the concept is Ooh, for this podcast and yes. like why we're doing it right and like i guess obviously kind of explain why it's called media jerk off because most people are probably wondering why i mean i just accepted it like so. i know somewhere at home a family member is going what is he doing what yeah is hi mom doing? hi dad i'm jerking off to the media we're jerking off to the media liberal arts mjo that's going to be... Are MGM. you MJ owing? Like, that'll be... Yeah. <laughs> We're, yeah, no, it won't. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> so, media jerk off. Mm -hmm. And then feel free to add in wherever I am not able to fill in the holes. Woo! <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> so, way back, like I said, we, we've been talking forever about wanting to do a podcast of some kind. Right. Um, we did a little bit of interaction. I mean, we used to live together. Mm -hmm. So, like... But on camera and stuff, we used to do it, like... I used to do a YouTube channel. I used to do, like, little videos that Allison and some of my other roommates would appear in. And I always felt like... Like, people would always comment and say, like, we had pretty good we have chemistry. chemistry. We do. Because we, we make out it. every we night. We make out all the time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then I came out, and it still didn't matter because we still made out. We love each other. Love has time. no bounds, bitch. YOLO. Mm -hmm. You only live once. <laughs> and you only make out every single day. Yo. Just drop it. We're just dropping it. <laughs> I don't even know what you're trying to do. I was going to try to be like, you only make out every day. <laughs> yo med? Yo med? <laughs> yeah, yo med. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, to me, when we were, to, the big conversation then is like, what do you do as a podcast? She went to like, you saw a TED Talk. 
Are you listening to someone to do a TED Talk Ooh, at her college, I think? I love TED Talks. I remember you talked about, you brought up, you're like, I listened to this guy. He talked about what you have to do to make a good podcast. Ah, uh, yeah, blah, it was a blah, panel blah. at uh, it was to- Comic-Con. Uh, Columb-Con. Columb-Con. Don't that tell him where we went to school. Sorry, I don't know. You went to college. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Maybe. Good job. Um, and so through that, we talked, to, or you had discussed about, like, um, what it requires to make a podcast. And literally, the core of it was just, like, Film, have a schedule. Yeah. And just do it about something you like talking about. Like, yeah. That seemed to be like the two main things. There was a lot mm-hmm. more to it, but I think those were the two. Yeah, most those prominent, are the like, most important. Because yeah. which clearly like, if we're going to talk about something regularly, you want it to be something good or fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk about the... I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing sad. We Nothing sad. Be a happy Nothing podcast. sad. Great. <laughs> and so... Um, my idea was I was like, okay, I'm, I feel like a lot of our conversations, us mm-hmm. being so involved in, so involved, like we're pro- true professionals, yeah, we're involved in the industry <laughs> we're nerds. and fans of the industry and pop culture, nerdy and nerds, nerdism and Nerd all nerds. those crazy things. Yeah, um, I thought we should do a podcast that focused on media and just kind of talking about. And media is a super broad term because it kind of was like we could still be nerdy about everything. Yeah, but like. And we'll only talk about media, but mm-hmm. media can cover TV shows, movies, music, pornography, podcasts, right? Pornography, what? what? <laughs> a weird Facebook post you saw. Literally anything we consume from the world. Yeah, media. It's kind of gross if you um, think about it, but yeah, I enjoy the I enjoy the topic. Yeah, right. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Um, media is literally everything, so I feel like we're kind of cheating in that way. But at the end of the day, it's also just a reason for us to somehow wrap it all around to come back to talking about super nerdy things that we love and appreciate Mm -hmm. um with the occasional so like our log intro line our intro thing i said like we're gonna have fun conversations related to such so i figured you know some episodes you might tune in and we just finished the finale of a show and we may just talk about what we thought about that finale then there might be days where um you know like, oh, you saw a superhero movie, and you're like, it was really good. But then you want to make your conversation about, like, if you were a superhero, what would your power be? Something silly like oh that. Oh, my God, that's know. so fun. Right. <laughs> I love that she's reacting. Like, this is the first time she's heard it. No. Even though I have explained this to no. her. No, I just, I'm still excited. I'm enthusiastic about this podcast. This is gonna, this is, I'm gonna be 85 years old. We're gonna be 80. Wow. You're saying that now. Even though (laughs) though you're older than me, we're gonna be 85 years old at the exact same time doing our podcast. Talking about how. Same room, same setup, our super fancy studio, which is my dining room living room talking about how great britney spears once was uh oh. before she uh got so her, her into a robot yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uploaded her memory right right and uh, the kids will be like what <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all i have that's what the kids these men <laughs> in the future are gonna be like what are they talking about yeah, what the hell because you know they don't know how to talk because we communicate through our brain waves at right. that time we'll all have chips in our head that allow us just to look at each other and can, like text message through waves brain Ooh, waves i just <laughs> got chills oh, wow <laughs> all right all right all right all right so anyways mm-hmm. so i guess moving forward so normally right. this first episode of course i love that we're going to talk about what our episodes are normally going to be like mm-hmm. uh, about where we'll each come to the table and be like I watched this media this week. This is what I want to talk about. You'll come to the table and be like, this is the media I watched. I want to talk about this this week. Right. But for this week, for our first episode, Mm -hmm. the pilot of this beautiful series. At number one. At number one. Because we are starting, what? S1, E1. E1. Wow. (laughs) Was that really loud? Oh, no! Oh, Patty. Um, for those of you who can't see, we have pop finals on the table, and Patty, Patricia, just fell over. Patty from the left. From the left. Today, should we introduce, should we have, like, rotating pop finals for each yes! episode? Yes! Okay, um, okay. So today's pop finals, we have um, Jughead Jones, uh, uh, representing my our love. own Riverdale, a.k.a. Mm. Cole Sprouse. Hello, hello, sweet Hello. Of... Zach and Cody. And Cody. Okay, Plus everyone up. knows that Cody was the real G. I have a thing yeah. for, like, nerds. And Cody yeah, that's was, true. like, like yeah. everyone loves Zach. And I was, like. he was so cool and athletic like, and whatever. And I was, like. If he can't fucking pass, like, English, like, I'm not about it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to. 
what is I don't can't okay. relate can't relate anyways <laughs> next next we have uh, the beautiful Trixie Mattel uh, recently released pop vinyl uh, mm. representing one of the most phenomenal queens who's currently on All Stars 3 she's uh, really my favorite VH1's on Thursdays <laughs> Like, that. <laughs> giving you promo. <laughs> that um, plug, though. Yes. No, then, um, I don't watch... Uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't be saying this out loud. Uh, uh, I don't really watch uh, Drag Race. I didn't know who Trixie Mattel was until very recently, but I have to say she is one of my faves because... She's delightful. Her look is so iconic. She's so and good. And she's so funny. And she plays instruments. Yes. She was one of those that like came in into her original season on season seven and people were so mean about her look and being like, oh, she's doing... It's too over the top. It's oh too God. much. That makeup's not realistic. She doesn't look like a woman. But I was like, Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. You're going to do something. Like it's- Trixie Mattel, I would... Like she was the one I was rooting for season seven. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that now. There's a lot of bandwagoners since she blew up following her season. Mm. But like since that day, I was like... There's something special about you. And there is. Look at her now. Look at her now. Her own YouTube series that blew up. Her own TV show. She's on All Stars 3. Fabulous. Tracy Mattel. Gorgeous. Round of applause for you, Tracy Mattel. (laughs) And then our third pop vinyl, uh, who fell, our little victim. Little Patty. Little Patty. She's going to keep falling. She's going to keep falling. I I have a Patty, too. Um, Compliments of Edward Zorch. Compliments of Edward Zorch. And she's my first pop vinyl. She cannot stand up if her life depended on it. Yeah. Um, But she's real cute. And look at her stare. We need to get someone to control the camera so they can zoom so into they can her. zoom in dramatically on, yeah. Because her eyes are so, they're so judgy. Like, look. Oh, I'm, like, hang on. Says your pain isn't I'm there. just going like, to go show I'm gonna show the camera. For our listeners, Allison is going and stood up. Uh, she took the patty pot look at her. She was holding it directly up into the lens. Thank you, Edward. Oh, no problem. They all appreciated that. Did you yes. get real close? Did you so smack close. your lips? Oh my, I can't. Here, All right. I can get it. I can get it. Okay. Good. Keep keep talking. Keep talking. I got Anyways, it. Anyways, so um I really totally got distracted with the pop vinyls. Well, everyone. Media! Media! I love pop vinyls. Pop when I talk vinyls. about rotating new ones, there's a chance you will. Uh, Penny just fell again. Um, there's a chance that you may never see the same pop vinyls ever again. If that gives you any sort of idea it's of true. how many of these things he has a lot into my life. He has a lot um, and has only given me two. Yeah. Owns 7,000. Yeah. But um, his number one bitch only gets two, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, right. <laughs> and? Uh-huh. Anyways, so um, the topic. Topic. The topic what we're going to talk about today, mm-hmm. which I figured would be a good first episode, um, we're going to talk about our predictions, our thoughts, what we're excited for in 2018 when it comes to media. Woo! Yeah! Because um, I think this would be cool then, because not only is it our first episode, it's kind of cool to kick it off being about... Because not only do I feel like this will also kind of paint a picture of like what we're into, who you can expect, or what you can expect to hear us talk about, mm-hmm. um, but it also would be cool to listen back on later and kind of review of just like... How good was that? Like, I was so hyped now. Was that movie actually good come the end of 2018? Right, right. And uh, full disclosure, uh, Edward here has a computer full of notes that he reflected uh, thoroughly and thought upon throughout the day. Um, I, on the other hand, just kind of, I'm just going with it. She's going to wing it. We're going to wing it. And that tells you anything else about ourselves as individuals. Like you're good, you could step. My roommate Johnny Louise. Johnny, you could you're welcome to shout hello. Say hi Johnny. Hello. <laughs> Johnny's sneaking behind the camera. I um, am. wait, wait, you just kicked it. Wait. I did? Pull it back. <gasps> what? Just slightly push this way. What? Yeah. So the camera, do it this way. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a little. Do a little more. <laughs> Hang on, that's what you're doing. <laughs> a little more? Go more, yeah. I think it's fine. Sure, it's fine. We're stopping the it's recording not- podcast where they're hearing our voice. We're stopping so, so we can. You're good. That's great. So we can fix the camera. Sure. I'm also gonna have to pick that up. You can walk in front of the camera if you'd like. If you have to walk really in front of the okay. camera, okay. Yes. all that really matters is our beautiful voices. Oh. All right, you already did. So uh, <laughs> let's just uh, move it along, okay? <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, um, so I have I have a general idea. Yeah, but I feel like again, if it's just expecting or what to expect from us as people, I'm gonna always be the over crazy prepared one. Mm-hmm. Um, Elson is not saying Elson's not prepared and not dedicated, but we just have different ways of doing things. Exactly. And appreciating our media. I have no idea where she is. Maddie is our other room, my other roommate. Allison does not live with us. I. You just had to bring up a sensitive topic <laughs> to this podcast. <laughs> Sad. Um, Let's just like not even talk about video. Let's just talk about how we are not roommates. All right. Back in the day. No. <laughs> like, wow. It all started when. Like that can of worms open. Oh. We used to be roommates. And let's just appreciate that for now. Yeah. Until we the used, next chapter. We used to be in love. Right. We used to be. Back when we used to make out. Anyways. <laughs> I'm like, we were like, I think we're 18. 15, 16 minutes in. All right, yeah. That was a good intro. That yeah. was fine. That was good. Okay. Anyways. Media. Media. Woo-hoo! What we love. The point of why we're all here. Jerking off to media. Because mm-hmm. we love it so much. Right. Um, I don't know. Should I just go down my list? Should I? You should... Do we start want to swap off. off? Like, do you know stuff? No? We're just going to... We're going to all comment. You start, and okay, I'm just going to throw in my two cents uh, if I have any. If I don't, I'll probably say some stupid cool. bullshit. Why is it blinking at us? Is that scary? Um, I think it means that it's... Uh, yeah. We're, we're talking so about the camera. We're trying to do this without a cameraman. Yeah. Uh, or woman. Yeah. Time's up, bitches. Women Time can do anything. Up. Welcome to our first podcast where we don't know what we're doing. But thank you all if you're still here. <laughs> if you're still point. here. If you're still here, we love you. Shout out to Nikki Hoffman. <laughs> Shout out to Nikki Hoffman. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> no, there's no way she's listening still. She's, she's like, who are these fuckers? And just... <laughs> Turned it off. I gave a shout out my own mother. Like, I know my mom would tune into the first two minutes and be like, I'm bored. And then she'll text me right after and be like, I tried. It just wasn't for me. My parents would just, like, see the title of this podcast and say, you are a disgrace to Jesus Christ. <laughs> just, like, uh, just, like, not even. You can walk. Johnny's going to walk. Johnny's walking in front of the camera with a beautiful gift for a friend. Woo! It was a good transition. I feel like we should have done that thing where we made, like, I'll tell that story like, later. Yeah, okay. Yes. <clears throat> All right, go. Um, anyways, go, okay, so go, we're going to go right go, into go, it. Go. So I have a ton of things I'm excited for. So the way I did this on my end is okay. I broke it down. So instead of listing every single TV show I am excited for and why, right. I decided that like, for each category, I have a TV show, a movie, a video game, and a podcast okay. um, that I'm excited for. And instead I'm excited. of explaining exactly why, for every single one, I broke it down and chose one for each category. Right. All right. That was a jumbled mess of an explanation. No, I, feel like I just I followed it. I followed it. I'm a uh, two beers in, and I still understand what you're saying. Great. Yeah. So the first one, I guess, we'll just start at the top. TV shows. Big TV people. Yeah. Went to school for TV. Uh, it's what we did. Uh, on the piece of paper that I spent too much money on, it says I got a degree in television. That's what I wanted to do with my life, and I did it. And parents, if you're listening. Did you let me do that? I could be a doctor. <laughs> I wouldn't be. <laughs> um, so I, there's a lot of TV shows I'm excited for. Right. Uh, but the one that I keep thinking about, and this could also be just because it's being so heavily marketed right now, uh-huh. and we recently got new information about it, is a ha- uh, The Handmaid's Tale mm. Season 2. Mm. Um, I was a huge fan of Handmaid's Tale season one. Mm-hmm. Um, you made me watch it. I did. Did you ever finish it? Did we ever finish it with you? I've I, seen it all the way through. I have not. I assume that it ended well. It So here's the thing. If you're unfamiliar, also for you listeners and watchers. So The Handmaid's Tale is based on a classic novel. Ah, classic. Yes. Never heard of it until the show, but classic. Yes. And so um, it's... And apparently, I've never read the book, but based on my understanding and based on people's comments on the internet, the interwebs, mm-hmm. um, people said that it basically was exactly the novel story, like beginning gotcha. to end. And the big thing is the way it ends, it's kind of very up in the air um, that we don't know and we're left to kind of like, or the reader's left to make up their own thoughts of like what they assumed happened to Offred, who is our main heroine. Um, Elizabeth Moss in the show. She um, won an Emmy. She did. She won an Emmy. Good for you. Elizabeth um, Moss. So the big mystery when uh, Hulu and MGM announced that they'd be doing a season two mm-hmm. was that everyone was like, now we're off book. 
So it's like we don't know what to expect. Ah, it's like the Game of Thrones. It's similar to Game of Thrones yeah. where it's like, even the, I mean, Game of Thrones is just George R. R. Martin was too slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the TV show is like, sorry, we're still it's going. Sorry, right. take your time. You're Which a genius. Is cool. George R. R. Martin, you do your thing. He's listening. Right he now. is. He is our top listener. <laughs> um, our only listener is George R. R. Martin. Um, no, but like, Handmaid's Tale, it wasn't, it, I don't think she, unless I have misunderstood i don't think she ever mm-hmm. planned to go in beyond the books so now uh, which i think it's very cool that like the show was that su- successful mm-hmm. um that they're going on um i'm also very curious what they're going to do with it just based on how it ended i don't really want to get into spoilers just because you yourself haven't watched I but know. who has yeah. um it's a delightful series it's very incredible very draining emotionally yeah um, um we couldn't it. we couldn't watch more than three up what was it three episodes at one time i remember i went to one of the initial um i went to a special event before it aired because i have friends who have fancy connections yeah um gotta get me some of them where it was a panel with elizabeth moss um who's the main actress in it um a representative from hulu and then the showrunner of the show and they talked about because a lot of hulu shows people were questioning why hulu wasn't just uploading like Netflix does, or, like, when the series comes out, like, mm-hmm. the whole series is just there to binge. Right. And I remember the showrunner was literally, like, the reason, because Handmaid's Tale ended up, they released the first three episodes initially, and then it was weekly. Oh, that's um, right. Like, that's a regular right. show. And the reason they did that is the showrunner was, like, it's a lot, and, like, we don't want people, like, that doesn't seem like something I you agree. should just so heavily consume, just because of the themes. I agree. Um, Made me feel weird. Uh, yeah. A little sad. Lots of sad. It's really sad. Um, I'm, basically, I'm, for anyone who is unfamiliar, I guess we should explain it for just being like, oh, it's so sad. Basically, The Handmaid's Tale is in a doomsday future. Um, dy- dystopia. Dystopia, where um, a new, I would guess, organization, very heavily influenced by a uh, new religion, um, has sort of taken over. Yeah. Um, and we're in a world where only uh, select a select few women who are so lucky can Mm -hmm. still uh, bear children. And so um, these rich men running this new religion and basically the new United States of America. Uh, So it is men. It is men. Spoiler alert. It's men. It's men. Time's up, bitch. Like, you see what the... (laughs) I love the show's painting. Because then it's all about these women, Uh, the handmaids, who are lucky individuals Mm -hmm. who can bear children, but not so lucky in the fact that they are then like kidnapped and basically forced into this weird like servant uh lifestyle where they're forced they're assigned to a household to mm-hmm. literally give these people who can't have children of their own children right um and it's very sad it's very heartbreaking it's yeah lot. but they like okay sorry i know we weren't getting into spoilers but don't they like oh you're fine i just don't want to reveal the ending of the season don't one. they like start to be more empowered and Which, start yes. to fight back. So that's the Such whole... a mood. 2018 mood. Yes. I'm excited for it. I wasn't. I had no idea that they were doing the season two. Handmaid's Tale, I haven't finished it. I wasn't as big of a fan as Edward is. But like now that he's saying it, definitely excited for it. Yeah. Maybe this so episode should, should be... finish season one with you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this episode should be uh, things Edward's excited about that um, convincing Allison to be excited about it too. That would be great. Uh, because I... I don't know what's happening. It's January, dude. Yeah. I don't... Okay, what's next? I'm next. actually really excited. I'm reading okay. his notes. I'm really right. excited about this. <laughs> She's sneaking ahead. Yeah. Um, so the movie, I was initially torn. I kept switching up between which movie I really wanted to talk about. Um, oh, this is a good one, though. And it was in between two superhero movies. It was initially going to be... It kept... Well, way back before we filmed this, I was like, I'm right. going to talk about this one. Right. And then I was like, no, I'm going to talk about... The Avengers movie that's coming out in May because I'm very excited for that to see what they do with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I decided to go back with my original choice. Yeah, which is Avengers. talking about yes, which is like one of the OG superhero movies. I wouldn't say that. I mean, but before not, superhero not, not. movies became like the Western genre that it is today. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to talk about The Incredibles 2. The Incredibles 2. Let me tell you, before you say anything, uh, mm-hmm. Mrs. Incredible? That's it. I had her as a Pez dispenser. Wow. I think I still do. Um, and I... That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Did you Incredible. Hear? Well, I don't know if you heard. So a lot of new information has come out. We got a lot of okay. uh, new cast releases uh, this past week. 
Mm-hmm. Um, what was Mrs. Incredible? Holly Hunter? Was that her? Is she yes. still Mrs. Incredible? Yes. If they changed Holly Hunter to some other No, no, no. Movie. It's like, all I, I think it's the whole original cast, except Dash is different. Which I think it's like a Finding or Finding Dory situation where it's like the little boy who played that character before. He is now a man. Beauty, that if Dash sounded like a grown man, it might be a little alarming. Or trying to force that voice actor to do a little boy voice right. would hurt him. Just like in um, um, Sword in the Stone. Where they had Ward... Uh, where Ward's... Ward's go through puberty. Yes. Through the whole movie, um, yes. I'm trying to think who was... The, there was a big one that everyone was freaking out about. He is Googling this. I don't remember. John Ratzenberger. No, no, no. I'm yeah, excited I'm that John Ratzenberger is in it. Yes. Sophia Bush. Everyone was very excited for Sophia Bush. Oh, wow. She was a uh, Void, who was a young Elastigirl fan, um, which I don't know if That's you've heard. That's me. Apparently, what I, if I recall correctly... Um, they talked about, because you talk about Mrs. Incredible. Oh, yes. Apparently, The Incredibles 2 mm-hmm. is going to be very heavily focused on her as a central character. I, I am excited! Granted, all The Incredibles, it's their movie, but it sounded but, like she is going to be the driving force of this movie, while Bob is at home trying to <laughs> be normal. It's 2018. Life. Time is up. It's time to focus on Mrs. Incredible and how incredible she is. So a A girl. Yeah. OG uh, superhero because uh, I mean Helen I guess Parr. they mm-hmm. Helen Parr Queen which yeah um, mm-hmm. the reason I decided I'm very excited for this movie is because um, I remember way back like for a long time everyone, everyone's always wanted another Incredibles like mm-hmm. the Incredibles one was so fun it was so good it reminds me of my childhood mm-hmm. um, it was just a fun movie um and I remember the big drama behind it is when they finally came out, when Pixar came out and said, we're making Incredibles 2, they talked about the reason it took so long to make that sequel, or this sequel, was because um, with superhero movies being so prominent now, they are like, how do you bring Incredibles into this new world with something different? Uh, I, feel like, I feel like the Incredibles, uh, the first movie, was something different mm-hmm. uh, because you look at how... Uh, superheroes interact in like like the world like it's not just like oh this is Gotham everyone's just like yeah. cool with a superhero just like running the town it's like uh, it, Mr. Incredible got sued yeah. for like destroying yeah, sure. it like shows you the aftermath of don't you ever like watch like I watched Batman what was it the Dark Knight or something Yeah. and I, when he blew up that hospital I'm like oh, who right. paid for that <laughs> like <laughs> Like the Incredibles already do that, so I'm I'm excited to see what they do for Incredibles too, especially since Mrs. Incredible is the incredible. Of course, apparently, yeah, she's I, so good. She she's is so incredible. good. She's, she's a household. So good. I'm gonna stop talking about her. What's next? Yeah, but no, but basically, yeah. Just a final hmm. note. I'm right. very excited, and I'm very curious to see what they do with it. Yes. Um, just because. I mean, to me, if that was their biggest concern, and now they're like, it's coming out in 2018. To me, that's, uh uh-oh. Movie recording has been stuck automatically. Hold up, hold up. Oh my god, pause the freaking podcast. Just hit. That's so wrong. We're good again. We're good again. We're back, we're back, we're back. We're back, we're back. So you're excited about what? Video listeners, you may... I don't know what. No, I'm who cares? Like. Okay. Who cares um, but basically, no. Yes, I'm very excited for The Incredibles too. Uh, to me, with them saying, um, "Hey, you know, this was one of our concerns, and now that they're so confident that this movie is coming out this summer," mm-hmm. um, to me, that says they figured it out. Yeah. And so I'm very curious to see kind of what they do with that. Um, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pumped. Great. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, sticking with the theme of Disney. Ooh. Tell I'm me about, talk it. about my video game. Give it to I me. I am most excited for. Come on. Which there's a lot of video games. I'm a big gamer, guys. Let's jerk it off. Big game nerd. He's jerking it. Jerk off all over this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, if it comes out this year, Allison, I'm about to get really. Ooh. I'm gonna rant. All right, all right. Get ready. I'm so ready. The video game I am most anticipating. Got my beer. For 2018 mm-hmm. is Kingdom Hearts Three. Do you know anything about the Kingdom Hearts world? All right, so anything, I mean, what I know about Kingdom Hearts is that uh, you own a sweatshirt with Donald Duck's face all over it. I do. And it was because uh, you (laughs) like Kingdom Hearts. So um, what I know is it's just 
a video game with yes. a bunch of Disney characters yes. interacting. Yeah. The end. So basically, yeah. So Kingdom Hearts. To, I don't even know how to give a simple explanation. All right, but here we get into the plot. But basically, it's the creators of Final Fantasy, another famous, very Eastern inspired and run video game series. Um, it's very heavily Final Fantasy esque, mm -hmm. mixed with Disney World. So your Disney characters, they all make an appearance. Not all of them. Sounds like my cup of tea. Them. It's phenomenal, especially for Disney fans and people who grew up with it. Um, the reason I say grew up with it is, yes, Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposedly the finale that we have been waiting for. Do you want to know when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out? When, Edward? I'm going to look up the exact year. Please tell me. So you're telling me there have been two before this. This is the last one, and after this, you're not going to get any more. Well, so no. So <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. Kingdom oh. Hearts 2 came out in 2005. Oh. It has been, it's been a hot almost second. 13 years. It's, yeah, almost 13 years since we got the last major number titled Edward, Kingdom Hearts. Edward, game. Edward, we're old enough to say something came out 13 years ago. Yeah. And we are like alive waiting like, for I the next I remember the day my mom, my mom had to drive me because I couldn't drive yet. We drove to Target. Oh my God. I bought Kingdom Hearts 2 and then we oh went to my, my grandma's house and I brought <gasps> the PS2. House. Oh, the PS2. It's a whole two generations oh my God. of consoles. <laughs> Um, to play Kingdom Hearts 2 mm. at my grandma's. Need more beer. Sips beer. Um, need alcohol. Yes. So the thing is, and so there have been other Kingdom Hearts games in between. Okay. So Kingdom Hearts what? as a whole, yes, it's very confusing. Oh my god. It's basically like there was Kingdom Hearts 1, right. there was a game in between it, there was Kingdom Hearts 2. It's like Lion King 1 and a half. Yes. <laughs> but it's been crazy. So like, I mean, I can't complain and be like, we've got no Kingdom Hearts games right. since 2005. Right. We definitely have that have advanced the story. Mm -hmm. Like if someone were to, if you were to play Kingdom Hearts 2, mm -hmm. And now you're just going to play Kingdom Hearts 3, you're going to be so confused. Because there's a lot that's happened. I'm already confused. So it's a lot. I'm excited. But basically, I'm Kingdom excited Hearts 3, I'm really excited for it. Excited. I want it to come. I'm very nervous because Kingdom Hearts is very notorious for always being pushed. Everything with Square Enix, who is the company behind it. Um, they happen to have a history of pushing their games beyond. But this game, because we've been waiting for so long for it. It better be fucking good. It better be phenomenal, which I, it's like, they're under a lot of pressure with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm also just like, I want it. Mm -hmm. If it gets pushed into 2019. I better, I better turn on the game and just like instant ecstasy. Just like, like that's what I want. Like fucking Which elevated. based on some videos and demos we've seen, it looks pretty cool. They've changed the art style. They've made it extra pretty. Ooh. Very Disney-esque. Beautiful. Um, when it comes to animation and colors and brightness. Right. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. I'm yes. very excited. Um, I recently just replayed through all of them. I got all those special HD collections for my PS4. It's great. All right, Anderson. all right, dear. Um, moving on. All right, so this is kind of really quick. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, we are a podcast. We <laughs> I talk about, are. I want to talk about the podcasts that I've watched, that have influenced me, have inspired me. Oh my gosh, um, it's funny because I don't listen to any podcast. I was, podcast say, or I was thinking about this most time. Any podcast. Like, does listen to podcasts? I literally, no, the thing with podcasts Not that me, I listen to a ton. I could list five on one hand, the podcasts that I listen right, to. All right, I can list, there's no hands. I could have no hands and say, this is how many podcasts I listen yeah. to. I can list them on my hands. But um, no, the thing with podcasts for me is I fall asleep. Yeah. My ADD is too great. It expands far beyond my capacity to sit down and listen to a person's voice yeah. um, without visual. Um, um, I can't think of the word, but media. like a media. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> no, yes, uh, no, it's not. But um, it's a uh, no. Yes, a stimu stimulation. stimulation. There a we visual, go. Yes, which way back in the day when I first started listening to podcasts, which is funny because right. what I'm about to mention was the first podcast I ever listened to. Mm -hmm. Um, it used to be my, like, right before I go to bed was, like, my thing gotcha. that I use them for. Yeah. Um, but now when I moved to Los Angeles, sitting in the awful traffic <gasps> that is real. You moved? Does exist. I moved. To Los Angeles? To Los Angeles. You live in L.A.? From the Midwest. Here we are. Living the dream? L.A., city of angels. Oh, my God. Art and school? Awful people. <gasps> and fake people. All right. Uh, <laughs> it helps me get through. All the traffic. Life? Wow. Anyways, so I guess I'm going to give a quick shout out to all the podcasts I've listened to that have inspired me to get to this point. Go, go. Um, oh, you're on to a great start. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
the Jenna and Julian podcast. Oh, the lovely YouTubers, beautiful. Jenna and Julian. Beautiful. I will people. bring them up again. There are so many things they have done in their podcast that I'm going to make Allison sit through. I am sure at some point. I literally want them to adopt me. They're so good. Oh Please my god. Adopt me. Um, there is the Game Over Greggy show, which was one of my first. They were one of the first YouTube, uh, like crossover where they like. Game over podcasts. Greggy, that's cute. It's really good. They're great. They're wow. a bunch of good guys that work for IGN or used to work for IGN, mm-hmm. one of my favorite companies mm-hmm. of all time. Um, and yeah, and they just started doing their own thing. They are more topic based. They just mm-hmm. talk about things they want to talk about every week. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Right. Um, third one. Third one. Three. Um, one three. Guys, we fucked. Guys, we fucked. Really great. Good one. Um, fun show. Mm-hmm. Lovely gals. Which I found out through the Game Over Greggy show. So mm-hmm. bring it right back to that. Thank you, guys. Um, then we had recently one of the ones I've been loving was My Dad Wrote a Porno. Right, so right, right. good. You told me about that. It's one of those where it's like, I can only, like, there's sometimes where, like, depending on where I am, I can, I'll, like, listen to the podcast. Like, if, like, oh, I'm at work, and then... I have to, like, take the train ride home or, like, whatever. Like, back in Chicago, mostly, like, it didn't matter where. Let's do a podcast. Right. My dad wrote a porno I cannot listen to while I'm, like, sitting at my desk doing des- desk work because it, it makes me laugh so much. <laughs> like, it is so raunchy. It it's sounds, so dirty. It sounds amazing. It's basically the premise is a man and his friends are reading a erotic fiction that his father wrote. Oh, my God. Um, I need to... So dad, dad if you're listening... So good. Um, please... Capitalize on this opportunity. Um, yeah. I know that God will look uh, down upon you, but no, he won't. He'll think it's hilarious. That is a topic I definitely want to bring up at some point because then I thought it would be fun to make like the conversation related to it. Like once we have someone write really dirty fan fiction about us right. and we'll read it. Oh my God. <laughs> that, that would make me so happy like, and filled great. with joy. Right? I'm going to start crying. Keep talking. One day, go for the podcast just to read dirty fan fiction <laughs> about ourselves. Oh, my God. I'm going to write it. I'm going to start right now. Um, and then the fifth one, which is mm-hmm. my main one that I want to give a shout out to. Shout out. Uh, and things I'm excited for. Shout for out to the car. Is the Shane and Friends podcast. Um, yeah. So Shane and Friends is a podcast by Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. Who is a big YouTuber that I've been following since I was in eighth grade. Um, really? Yeah, it's like 2008. Oh my god! Yeah, and he's still posting videos. Oh today. my god! Um, Shane. The reason I love that podcast so much is because Shane Dawson um, is able. He's so raunchy. He's always been known for his like no filter mm-hmm. because he doesn't care. He's just like, this is me. This is what I'm gonna ask. He's I never have cared. He has not cared. Shanae-nay? Which has gotten into trouble in the past. Shanae-nay. He has some trouble. Yeah. Which, but he's grown from that, and he has admitted it, and he's aware of it, and he wants to become a better content creator because of it. Right. Um, and it makes – and so his podcast is great because he's able to bring on guests. He has, like, other just YouTube personalities. He has actual celebrity guests. Um, but to me, what makes a good podcast, what makes any sort of good content, good show, is you can pull in a viewer of any kind. And by that, I mean, it's like, there are episodes of Shane Dawson's podcast where I'll read the title of who the special guest is that week, and they go, I want to pass this one. Just because it's like, it's someone I haven't heard of, it's someone mm-hmm. I don't care about, it's someone very random, but I tune in just because I'm like, well, I need somebody to listen to, and I love it. Yeah. And it's because of his hosting talent of just being able to ask the very raw questions that makes it such a good show. Right. And it's like, I'm watching not because necessarily of like, oh, I'm interested in the guest. But he makes them so interesting just based on the questions he's able to ask them because he doesn't care. And in that, it, I mean, he does care about them, but it's just like he doesn't care about being so professional and being so like, oh, I've got to make right. sure like I'm not offending anyone. He's just real. And because of that, I think it makes his podcast very exciting. And the reason I put that as my number one podcast I'm excited for for 2018, mm-hmm. um, his podcast was one of the podcasts that was made by uh, Full Screen, which is a company – in Los Angeles that just some company one of the companies that kind of like started adopting all of these YouTubers to make their own podcast and other uh, original shows right full screen went out of business um, oh, at the end of last year wah, wah. and so it's kind of been up in the air about like what um, is going to happen to all these content creators 
Uh, but Shane has immediately made a whole statement about it, and he said that, you know, he's figuring it out, mm-hmm. um, and this is not the end of his podcast. Um, Hell no, bitch. He's very excited for the things to come. 2018, time's and, up. Uh, so, <laughs> time is up. Time's up. We're, <laughs> we're going independent on your ass. <laughs> full screen? Yes. And uh. so, RIP full screen. Uh, but so for that reason, I put it as, I'm sure it'll be great. I've never been disappointed with the Shane and Friends podcast, um, but I'm just very curious and excited to see what that means. As in, what is he going to do with it? Um, what can we expect from it? Um, I yeah. as well. I'm excited. You got me excited. I'm it's really pumped. Great. It's one of those shows too where you can tune in any week and you'll have a great time. It'll be so good. Just like our podcast. Ever. Just like our podcast, Media Jerk Off. Media Jerk Off. <laughs> MJO. MJO. Fuck Ooh. it up. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that was basically my tops. All right. Honorable mentions. You should just, should I just chew, chew through. Just chew through them like a fucking Pac Man dude. Can I say like one line with every single one? Because oh we my. have like a lot of time. You know what? I'm not going to do as big of an explanation. Do, okay. You know what? It's. <laughs> It's your podcast. It's, it's your podcast. It's, it's our podcast. It's our podcast. And I'm saying, just fucking do it, man. Okay, great. Let's like go. All right, so honorable mentions for TV shows that, I'm very, that I am very excited for for 2018. I cannot speak. Uh-uh. First one, Celebrity Big Brother premieres in a couple of weeks. Woo! I'm very excited because Celebrity Big Brother has been one of, the thing, one of those things that yeah. has existed in the UK for years. Years. It's been super cool, super successful. Um, I'm very nervous because you hear grumblings. Being a person that works in entertainment, you hear rumblings through the grapevine of how things are going in on. LA. And how there's a little stuff that's still being figured out knowing the show's airing in mm-hmm. two weeks. Um, mm-hmm. But you know what? I'm very excited to see what they do with it. Excited. Julie Chen is hosting again. I love Julie Chen. Julie Chen. Big Brother is one of those shows that inspired me to get into this industry to begin with. Shout out to Allison Grodner. Um, Allison Grodner! If this. you're an Allison... <laughs> You have my heart. Allison, they just have a special place mm-hmm. within my soul. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> but yes, I love it. Cannot wait to see what they do with that. Um, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Oh, no. I am a giant as hello to the Jughead Jones uh, pop idol. Big oh, fan gosh. of the Riverdale. Mm, right. The Riverdale universe, what they've done with it. Yes. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina mm-hmm. is going to be a Netflix series um, about a it's a, a Sabrina the Sabrina teen- the teenager. No, it is. <laughs> yes, um, it's going to take place in the same CW universe, the same mm-hmm. Riverdale universe that mm-hmm. it was on CW with Riverdale. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm very excited for it because um, I'm excited. Sabrina's my bitch. Yes, love Sabrina, but this is going to be a dark horror retelling of Sabrina, uh, um, based on the new comic series um, written by the same team that's doing. Um, Archie oh uh, comics. My heart just fucking stopped. I also love it because they recently announced, I feel so bad because I cannot recall her name right off the top of my head. I'll look it up right now as we talk. But the actress announced to be playing Sabrina is the same actress who was a um, the voice of Janora from The Legend of Korra. No! Oh my god! Delightful. If you don't um, know, Legend of Korra is me and Edward's thing. I'm not saying it's like specifically our thing, but yes it is because I never watch like I didn't watch those kinds of I don't know how to explain it I don't want to call it anime because it's always because it's like, not anime people because it's American based and right and right the argument of like what makes anime is it right. the company where the company is located is uh-huh. it whatever but that art style yes I, I never just a cartoon telling of any sort of heavy story yes yes um, um and I and yeah. it was one of those uh series that if you don't watch it in order you right. can't really like it's not like Spongebob you can't just tune in and understand what's happening see I'm a Spongebob person yeah ADD over here we got uh Edward laying out the big storylines uh so anyways I made he, her watch Legend of Korra he made me watch it and I really enjoyed yeah. it if you haven't seen it or like you should watch it because the ending I died I was I re-watching screamed. old videos I used to make about reviewing yeah. Legend of Korra and I was like it, we need to it's re- so good. Tune in next week when we... <laughs> oh, we our topic <laughs> about The Legend of Korra. Just the Legend of Korra. Uh, 2018. So good. So good. All right, who's the actress? Uh, Kiernan Shipka. Oh, that's so cute. She yeah. was adorable as Jinora. Um, oh. I'm very excited. She's just like... Uh, I'm just so excited to see what she Can I see a picture? Let's look at the picture. Oh, my... 
Oh my god. Alone now. It's been a few years since The Legend of Korra. Yes. Uh, Janora as a character was so sweet but so powerful. Oh wow. Um, and for that, I'm just excited to see, knowing what she brought to those characters in the past, I've seen her, Janora mm-hmm. being one of them. I'm excited to see what she brings to Sabrina. Oh, I'm um, so excited. Yeah. Wow. It's very exciting. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Edward, for bringing in no all this excitement into my life. I needed this. I yes. needed this. Uh, it's like the podcast of like what Edward is excited for for 2018 and what Allison is going to now realize what she's also excited I'm so for for 2018. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to oh be so Oh, my gosh. Um, all right, what's next? Steven Universe. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have an extreme love for Steven Universe. Mm-hmm. I made Allison start watching Steven Universe. We haven't finished Steven Universe. That's why I said, oh, my God. Steven Not that Universe I Universe is one of the most important pieces of media on television right now. I can agree. It is a cartoon on Cartoon Network. Um, where else would it be? I'm like, cartoon on Cartoon Network. But it's just like the message, the diverse cast, mm-hmm. the extreme themes of like the LGBTQ positivity. And right. just like, I can't even put into words like how much I love Steven Universe and Rebecca Sugar, the creator of it, for just bringing it to us. Um, and it's definitely very interesting as an outsider not knowing yeah. what Steven Universe is about, not knowing the characters, and just like hearing Edward tell me bits and pieces of just like what's up, and I'm just like I'm fucking living for this. It's so good. Like yes, it's so good. Like gender, sexuality, what is it? Just like, like diversity, identity, just diversity. diversity. It's just so Key the word. representation that Rebecca Sugar has been able to bring to this piece of content, this media, is just so good. And the big drama with Steven Universe is it's not like a regular TV show, like most cartoons, where it's like, or like. Like, most cartoons, there's not a set schedule. Mm-hmm. It's not like where you know, like, you're expecting, like, it's fall season, we're going to get all our new seasons. Steven Universe is one of those shows where Cartoon Network's like, we have a new episode for you, we're going to drop it this week. We have three new episodes, we're going to drop it this week. And so, I'm excited. We're, the most recent episode we got was very big in plot and just the things it dropped on us. And I'm very excited to see, knowing, or reflecting back on this, I hope that at the end of 2018, I'm like, wow. We got a whole lot of answers. I still love Steven Universe. I will never not love Steven Universe for what it's done you for me as a human being Steven now. Universe. But just like, oh, I'm so excited to see what they bring to I this. am so excited to actually watch it. I hate um, saying I don't know when that's going to be. Or not, we're going to make you watch it very soon. I hate right. not knowing when they're going to give it to us. Give it to us, Cartoon Network. Uh, don't make us beg. So even good. though we like it. Even though we love it. <laughs> um... And then for the final TV show, I will mention. Right. I realize we have like we're almost running out of time. Then I'm like, we gotta go. Um, oh. RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm having such a good time. I know. I'm having such a good time too. Let's just like make a two hour. It's podcast. gonna be a two hour premiere Three. special. <laughs> Three hours if we're feeling no, it. Like analytics, everyone dropped out of the first two minutes. <laughs> We're still sitting here. You know what? We're having a good time. I, great. That's all that screw you about. guys. Like, this is our fucking <laughs> podcast. Let um, me live. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race. Ooh. All Stars 3 just premiered yesterday. Mm. So good. I love it. I just love what it said to the community, what I feel like the message of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I'm so happy for just the piece of content that it's become and just how so many people are able to stand behind it just because of its message and the gathering it's brought together. Um, I'm sure RuPaul's Drag Race will be a topic of mine in the future, but I'm just very excited to see what happens with All Stars 3 and the upcoming um, season 10, uh, which will air hopefully in March, which is usually... Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I heard? Uh, this might be completely false because I was only partially listening. But apparently, RuPaul's Drag... Was the season premiere for All Stars? It was like this past week, right? It was yesterday. Yeah. Um, As if we were filming this, it was Thursday. Yes. Evening. Thursday... What is it? Thursday, January 25th, 25th yes. uh, 2018. Uh-huh. Time's up, 2018. Um, yeah. What was I saying? RuPaul's Drag Race was the number one most watched... Uh, Something that wasn't sports. Um, Aja, I saw a tweet of that. One yeah. of the on All Stars 3. Yesterday, yeah. It was yeah. one of the most viewed pieces of content that was not a... Sports. I think it was the most viewed yeah, yeah. piece of content that was not sports. Which is incredible. That's amazing. Especially like when you look back at old scenes of like what Drag Race used to be. Uh-huh. And like, it's so good. Like, I mean, like, I personally have not seen the first few seasons. But even just, it's just like, 
the message of Drag Race has been so incredible in the clips I've seen from it. I've been watching Drag's it. just like oh, the greatest. It's so good. And it's just like it's so good to see a show that does deserve such attention. Right. To receive it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it's such it's drag is such a um interactive art form almost. Yeah. Like just like the it's whole It's evolved so much. Like it's just ah, the meaning behind it. Ah. It's so good. Ah. That I'm just very excited to see what comes out of RuPaul's Drag Race mm-hmm. this year. I'm excited. Ah. We excited. I will have to say, so I'm gonna just sneak in no, for something that I'm excited for. Um Besides everything that Edward has said, because I'm 100% excited. Thank you. Kingdom Hearts 3, yes. <laughs> You're no like, lies. I don't play games, but yes. <laughs> um, Steven Universe, yes. 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 Bless. Um, but I'm excited to see if this Time's Up movement just, like, keeps, keeps going. Which I think it will. I think... God, Pick, like, game steam so, picks up steam. What's the what's the? I think it's already picked up a lot of steam. There you go. There's still room right. for more steam, obviously, because so much steam so needs to be me, had. Being an individual who lives in Los Angeles, to me, it's my everything. Yeah, like it's times up on everything. Time is fucking up. Um, and you know what? Someone told me who yeah. was it? I don't know. I'm not gonna call them out, but someone told me like. Uh, their parents, they went home for a uh, break, you know, the holidays as one does, uh, yeah. get to interact with, um, all the different, uh, political parties, uh, yeah. you know, but their parents told them, why are all these women, uh, coming forward? They're not going to get jobs in the industry. Yes. They're going to be this, seen yes. as troublemakers. They're going to yep. be seen as people who like companies don't want to deal with. They're going to have bad reputations. Yep. Bad reputations. Bad reputations. So, no, I got it. Cool. Or big reputation. It's big I'm reputation. The wrong lyrics. The lyrics. I wasn't gonna say anything. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that to me was like, what? It's it's crazy <laughs> because being what? in Los Angeles, a lot of people are very. It's current. It's our big thing. Living in the industry, a lot of people talk about when big movements are happening, when big topics, big, big things are happening that affect. Everyone, not even just people in the industry. Um, but we definitely experience it the most because I feel like most of the driving force is from people who work mm-hmm. in our realm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's just like you said, it is shocking. Like to me, I'm like, everyone's talking about it. And then you go home, you leave the bubble that is Los Angeles and people right. are like, oh, I don't know. What is this? I don't get it. Mm-hmm. It's like, why don't they just <sighs> keep it to themselves? Keep moving Which, on. Which, literally, you just said, it. a person I know personally, a family member, right. brought up to me during the holiday season. They said, you know, I don't understand why all these women are coming mm-hmm. out and saying things. Yeah. Because, like, exactly like you said, because now people are going to look at them and go, I don't want to hire them if they're just going to be a problem. Which is not <sighs> true. If you think that these women are coming out. They're being strong. They're yeah. like, like, yeah. I'm speechless. It's, Do you see that? I just like, nothing came like, out of my mouth. Change has never happened until someone spoke up. Exactly. And exactly. The Time's Up movement is just, is, I was, I, feel, I cannot recall which. There's been so many phenomenal speeches about talking about just like the meaning of the Time's Up mm-hmm. movement. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, it's not even, I mean, it is, it is so, I feel so bad when I was just about to say something so awful. It's so important to women, but it is also so important to just like equality as a whole yes. of like race does not get in the way. Yes. Um, sexual identity does not get in the way. Mm-hmm. Your gender does not get in the way. And it's just like, this would not be happening. This would not be, be this would not be a discussion if people were not brave enough to come out and say what they wanted to. And it's just like. I want to make out with you so hard right now. <laughs> that was so. If men, if you are trying to get the ladies, like. <laughs> men, here's a tip. I love to seduce woman. No, I'm saying if you were. <laughs> but no, it's just like. That was bad. There's more. Don't view it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I am so. I'm leaving. Edward, keep talking. Damn. <laughs> I am. Do you see this? Do you see what what this society is? He's like actually respecting women and I'm just like, 
Wow! I'm so turned on that someone sees me as an equal? That someone sees women as people? Do you see this? 2018 times fucking up, and I want to see this movement continue. <laughs> the hashtag of this whole episode is um, times up. Uh, times fucking up, time and I want to. I want to see this until again. We're 85. We're making this podcast, mm-hmm. and we are talking about yeah. time. No, actually, I hope not. I hope that we talk about how men <laughs> are better. They're good. We're all good. Everything's good. I don't think that'll happen. But we'll see. But we'll see. But for 2018, for 2018, I'm excited. Um, Greta Gerwig. Greta uh, Gerwig. Bringing her up. Queen. Lady Bird. Uh, want her to win that Oscar, that Academy Award. I personally have not seen uh, Lady Bird. Uh, you haven't? <laughs> no. I've seen it twice. <laughs> So, um, I'm just going to admit that right now, but, uh, I want her to win. I want Greta Gerwig to win the Oscar for Best Director of Lady Bird. And now you can add more words because I definitely think she deserves it too. Ugh. I know. Okay, everyone's uh, so everyone's so Bird. upset that I haven't seen Lady Bird. It just hasn't happened, and I know, I know. It's like I can't even, I can't even be part of this society if I haven't seen Lady Bird. But listen, no, you can. I oh thanks. <laughs> I blame everyone else except me for yeah. not making me watch it. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. That's okay. Because you will see it. So I will see think. it. I was going to try to make it a point to see it before this podcast so I can say, yes, Greta Gerwig, you deserve but it, you Lady know Bird. But now you can go see it and make it its, whole top, its own topic for a future episode. All right, everyone. Be your cop. So get ready. Get ready. This podcast is going to be fucking lit. Lit. As lit. launched it. As launched it, fam. All right. Fuck it up. Um, so moving out really quickly because we only have a few minutes left. Oh, are we going to talk about? Carly I'm going to quickly episode? shoot through everything else I still have on this. All right, list. and I'm going to scream about every single one. Okay, Here ready? we go. Here we go. Honorable mentions for movies. Woo! Ready Player One. Ready Love Player One. Games. So excited for all the references. Trailers have been so incredibly good. Yes. Second movie, A Wrinkle in Time, releasing the weekend of. Oh Oprah my God! Day. I'm so excited. Is it Oprah now? Oprah, Mindy Kaling, Mindy Kaling, Reese Witherspoon. Oh my God! Mrs. Who? Women. Mrs. Time's Mrs. Up. What's it? So good. Oh, Patty is Patty down. She's excited. She's so. <laughs> Patty she's is in for a long time. Love that book in junior high when we had as a school project. I'm just gonna hold. Tri- I'm gonna hold them. Just gonna hold them. Hold them. Um, oh, our uh, Incredibles two. We already mentioned. Yes. Love it. Ocean's eight. Another just female empowering. It's Ocean's eleven. But with all of, like the iconic women of Hollywood. I have Kate not Blanchett, seen any Sandra of them. Oh, that was a good cast. Rihanna's in it. It's so good. Oh I will make God. you watch the trailer the second we stop Thank filming this. Thank you. Really good. Uh, the Tomb Raider Tomb movie. My girl. So excited. I'm a huge fan of Tomb Raider. Oh I God. wrote this whole outline, this whole pitch while in college mm-hmm. about a Tomb Raider TV series. Yes. And so seeing it on the big screen in a soft reboot, or, or it is a total reboot based yeah. on video games and not the Angelina Jolie movie series. I'm nervous because video games have a curse of being made into movies when they're never good. Right. But Alicia Vikander. Alicia is on Vikander. Pop, and I'm so excited. Oh to my see god! What she makes the I character. saw the poster. Listen, I had to go to the MGM uh, uh, building recently, and they had one second. One second. Everyone, pause for Allison because this is my podcast. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Hello, video recorders oh and video viewers. Are yeah, back. we had to. We had to. So I was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> you stop filming." Um, and I'm the drunk one. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw the poster for it, and yeah. I just had to take a moment of silence because I was basking in the glory that is Alicia so Vikander, good. and so everything that Tomb Raider is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. Um. Rocket Ralph 2 comes out this year. Can't relate. All right, you lost me. I love Rocket Ralph. All right. Disney plus video games, a la Kingdom Hearts. So good. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. All I recall from a previous convention is the opening scene of the movie is all of the Disney princesses being together when Vanellope, one of the main characters, played by Sarah Silverman, goes to the internet and meets all of them. It was like the first time all the Disney princess voice actresses were brought together in one (gasps) scene. 
Wow. So excited to see. Was Jane from Tarzan there? It's okay. She's, she's not a Disney princess. I know. I just wanted to know. Yeah, she's not. Mini Driver was there. <laughs> it was Mini um, Driver, right? She, I didn't know it was her, right? Yeah, she that's Jane. right. Yeah, she's yeah. Jane. Um, so excited to see what they bring to that. Yep. Um, Avengers Infinity War, which I mentioned previously was possibly going to be the one I wanted to talk about. Right. Excited to see how they, they keep referring to it as the finale of uh, this first everything we've known about the Avengers. Excited to see what they do with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Nun. Not usually excited for the spinoff movies of the Conjuring universe. <gasps> I am I so excited. Love the Nun. I love I the love Conjuring. What created Taisa Farmiga. Looking into it today, found oh, she's in it. She's I love Taisa. <gasps> yes, which is incredible. Which now just realizing out loud, or like thinking, speaking out loud, I did not connect that like her sister. Her sister's in the Conjuring. Is in the Conjuring. And now universe, she's gonna be in the Nun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mind blown. Oh love my the god. Farmigas. How did you not? Ones. I don't know. That's Oh, okay. Honorable mentions for video games. A Way Out. Very curious to see how that's going to go. Uh, Detroit Become Human. I'm a big fan. Uh, I mean, they had a lot of controversy in recent uh, interviews and press with sexual mm-hmm. harassment and whatnot. We'll not get into that. We're not going to into that. I was a that. big fan of Heavy Rain and uh, Beyond Two Souls, so I'm excited to see and uh, he what has, he does with And Edward has told me Man. about both of those, and they sound lit. We should talk yes. about those when that comes out. When Detroit Become Human. Uh, because will, I... Sure. They're very interesting. It's a very good. interesting premise. Anthem uh, is a new game coming out made by Bioware, which also right. made uh, Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Good. Two of my favorite games of all time. Favorite games, games of all time. Best games. There's rumored to be the Untitled Tomb Raider Ooh. game. That's the third one in the new reboot series that's coming out. Now, will um, the same woman who has been Lara Croft be, this, be Lara Croft? So. Or will it be Alicia Vikander? No, I believe it is going to be, I don't recall her name, which I feel bad, the girl from who plays Joe in Grey's Anatomy. Um, who's been a phenomenal right, Lara right. Croft up till this point. Yes. Um, so very excited. Good, very good. Um, I'm excited to see what will be new, even though it's not a new game, Overwatch, a game I constantly play. I'm excited to see what new content they bring to it. Uh, this was the second year of Overwatch since it's been out. All right. And they kind of did this thing where it was like all of the events this year were just replays of the ones last year. Just kind of like, oh, you can win new prizes and whatnot. To me, I feel like if Overwatch is going to succeed, they need to bring something very brand new and very fresh to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just very hopeful and excited to see what that may mean for them. Nintendo, what are you up to? Nintendo, what's happening? You got the Nintendo Switch. It's doing phenomenal in the market. And I see you have this goal to sell like millions of units this year. So to me, that's like, you've got something up your sleeve. Yeah, what's happening, Nintendo? And I want to know what that's going to be. Last year, you released a Mario game and a Zelda game, which are two of your biggest franchises of all time. So to me, I'm like, what do they got to show for 2018? Because right now, I'm like, I'm excited. I love my Nintendo Switch. So great. But I'm like, what am I going to play this year? Yeah. There's no games I'm specifically like, I can't wait. Whereas last year, I was so excited for Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. Gotcha. That is it for video games. Other media-related things I want to talk about, give a quick shout-out to before we wrap up. Wrap up. Um, YouTube. YouTube. <gasps> Being a grown-ass man that oh <laughs> watches YouTube on the regular and is caught up in all the YouTube drama, YouTube content. Yes. I'm very curious. Every year to me, I reflect on every year as like, not every year as a whole of my life, but just like in terms of YouTube, I'm always like, what defined this year? There was always like, like you think about like way, a few years ago, YouTube used to be all about challenges. Like, oh, I'm doing the cinnamon challenge. I'm doing this weird challenge. I'm doing the Tide the Pod challenge. challenge. Best oh. challenge. Everyone, if you're listening to this, please do the Tide Pod challenge. It will not kill you. I promise. You're going to do the Tide Pod challenge? Yeah, right now. No, I won't. We don't have Tide Pods. Please do not do the Tide Pod challenge. Please do not. Please. The fact that those companies have to reach out and say, like, please do not consume our product. unless. And they didn't have to until recently. What even? Crazy. Memes are meant for good. I don't understand what this whole, like, Tide Pod challenge, like, and people are putting them in their mouths and consuming them and dying. And... Whatever, natural selection. Let them go. I don't feel sorry for you because you're, you're dumb as idiot. shit. You're you... literally... Whatever. Go on. Dumb. Keep going. But yeah, I'm dumb, excited dumb. to see what YouTube brings to us this year. I feel like there was a lot, Especially around the new year break, I was like, wow, a lot of YouTubers are going through something where there's a lot of change happening. A lot of them are self-identifying with like, you know what? It's time for change. I'm going to be the real me. Change, change, a lot of change. Making new channels, new content making what they want to make. And I'm just very excited to see 
what that means. 2017, 2017 was, uh, we were saying, we were saying we need change. And 2018 is going to be, we are changing. We will make change. Not just the time's up. I feel like I've been, I'm sorry that I've been like uh, joking about that. But like, honestly, I preach about it. Honestly, like that's, yeah, that's what we need to do. Time's up. We need to make change. And that's what 2018 is going to be. And with the uh, Golden Globes, um, we saw that people were really serious about it. And, uh, Which is so good. Oprah's speech. Ugh. Um, when I cried, when I bawled. Last time I bawled uh, was when Oprah gave that award-winning speech. Why didn't she win a Golden Globe just for that speech? They should have just like... Like the Oscar for the best Golden Globe speech is Oprah Winfrey. Yes. Uh, but no, that's queen. it needs to happen. All right, keep going. I'm sorry. Um, I'm rambling. So then finally, uh, new Funko Pops. I'm a big fan of Funko, as I've discussed at the beginning. Right. I have too many Funko Pops to count. Too much. I'm just excited to see what they bring me this year. There's always times where I'm always like, oh, card full. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sorry, video listeners. You're going to get some really awkward black screen that says we're sorry because we went over an hour. Oh, we went over an hour. Okay, but we're wrapping but up. Anyways, we're wrapping up. This is our first episode. We're trying. Video listeners, you're going to hear our audio. I'm so sorry you can't see us and what we're doing, but I'll make sure to include the audio. Yeah, I promise you're not right missing now. much. You're not missing much. Um, um, but basically, new Funko Pops. So excited. Right. Can't wait to see what comes out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I always say this is going to be the final series I buy. And then they announce a new line, and I'm like, well, i got to buy all of those. Why do you keep saying that? You're going to buy all of them. I'm going to buy all of them. Yeah, I don't know. And then finally, Carly Rae Jepsen. You've released singles. You have done a lot since your big uh, album release of Emotion and Emotion Side B. I'm ready for a new album. Dear. I... And Sia. Sia, where you at, girl? You released <gasps> Thank a, you. You released the Christmas album, and I get it. It was great, but I'm like, I'm ready for Sia. Music. Because Not her first album, um, 100 Forms of Fear, I believe that's what it's called, um, that was done as an album. Her uh, second album, after her little hiatus, when she likes, and then she started covering her face and whatever, uh, I forget what that's called. Uh, because... That one was a bunch of singles that she did not sell to artists. Okay, wait, I can look it up. I yeah, it. me too. Um, but that was a bunch of singles, like just like a conglomeration. I said it that was right. all of the music. Yeah, that 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 uh, no one wanted. And although um, she's a genius in every single. This is acting. This is acting. Every single um, s- single is a work of art. It definitely did not flow as, and that was one of the biggest. It wasn't like, her. It was just a collection of music that we yeah, bought from her. That was definitely one of the biggest like critic criticisms. Was yeah. like, but this, uh, yeah, we need a new one, Sia. I need your heart and soul buried into mine. I need to give it to us. I need to give it to me. Um, let me jerk off to your beautiful, wise lyrics yeah. and uh cry myself to sleep every night because that's what happens i love sia um we, we love sia you told me to say uh bjork you need a new album but even though you released one in november bjork we need a new one uh because <laughs> <laughs> because uh i'm a selfish bitch please ellie and aj just released an ep i want them to do another oh my god did you know my sister didn't know allison mishaka was in phil of the future she didn't know. Who did she think she was? No, no, no. She, <laughs> like, she didn't know Allison Mishaka was Ali of Ali and AJ. Yeah. And she did not realize that those two, uh, Keely from uh, Phil of the Future oh. and Ali, uh, Ali Mishaka was uh, the same person. And um, I blew her mind. Uh, did you know AJ was a voice in Steven Universe? Fun oh. fact! <laughs> Love it! All right, we need to wrap we it need up. To wrap this Nobody up. cares anymore. Oh, I was say, yeah, now we're losing thought. But that was right. basically our my excitement for 2018 and me getting Allison excited for 2018. I am so excited for 2018, let me tell you! If 2017 was shit, just be excited for what 2018 is going to be. What do you be. mean, if 2017 <laughs> was shit? Do you have a bitch? Be excited because, like Allison said, 2018, 2017 was people saying we need to change. 2018 is the year that change is actually going to fucking happen. And we're so excited to see Stamps it. Snaps and claps to we that. We are so excited. Um, All right, how are we going to end this? I don't um, know. Uh, thank you guys. If you made it to this point, we appreciate you making it to the end. Yeah, sorry we talked so much. Podcast. I'm not apologizing. It makes me, like, I feel so much more. Like, I was so excited. <gasps> Patty fell again. Patty fell again. I was so excited 
to make this podcast. Yes. And like now just ending this, I'm like, I could keep talking. I yeah, couldn't like, do this. I'm so forever. amped for what we we're gonna do with this. Oh, all right. I told Baj now we hit stop and then we'll find out all the audio is corrupt. Something Shut the sh- Shut <laughs> the fuck up. Okay, bye everyone. Hey, Thanks for listening. Thank you so much for listening, guys. We really do appreciate it. I hope you uh, jerked off along with us because we, hope, we have been doing it this entire time. We hope you enjoyed the slow jerk. Um, because we're in for the long run. And we will see you guys next time with another session. Love of you. Media Jerk Off.